throughout history we have seen open problems, conjectures, theorems which are fascinatingly easy to state but surprisingly difficult to deal with. One of such is a conjecture which states that every even whole number is a sum of two primes, specifically odd primes, famously known as Kohlbach's conjecture which is unproven till date. On June 7, 1742, the German mathematician Christian Goldbach wrote a letter to Leonard Euler in which he proposed that every integer that can be written as the sum of two primes can also be written as the sum of as many primes as one wishes until all terms are units. A second conjecture was proposed in the margin of the letter which said that every integer greater than 2 can be written as the sum of 3 primes. Euler replied to the letter on 30th June 1742 and reminded Goldbach of a previous conversation they had had where Goldbach had stated a theorem from which the previous two theorems would follow. It said that every positive even integer can be written as a sum of 2 primes. Euler had stated Referring to this theorem, I regard as a completely certain theorem, although I can't prove it. This became the strong form of the modern day Goldbach's conjecture. A weaker version says that every odd integer greater than 7 can be written as a sum of 3 odd primes. This version was proven in the year 2013. There's a nice way of visualizing the conjecture. Draw two perpendicular number lines and draw perpendiculars from the primes and mark the intersections as the sum of the respective primes. It does give an intuition regarding the trueness of the conjecture. A prime number theorem says that a randomly selected integer m has a roughly 1 over natural log of m chance of being prime. Now if m is between 3 and n over 2 for a large enough even n, then the probability that both m and n minus m are primes is the following. So roughly the number of ways of writing a large enough prime as a sum of two primes is the following. Now, this estimation is somewhat inaccurate. Here we have assumed that the events of m and n minus m being primes are independent, whereas it's not. Like for instance, if m is odd, then n minus m must be odd as well, as n is even. And the same thing holds vice versa. Keeping this in mind, G. H. Hardy and John Littlewood in the year 1923 conjectured that for any fixed C greater than or equal to 2, the number of representations of a large integer n as a sum of C primes should be asymptotically the following. Here gamma represents the number of solutions to the following equation. This formula has been proven rigorously to be asymptotically equal with this which is valid for c greater than or equal to 3 as well. Now let's have a look on some remarks made by Hardy and Littlewood on the conjecture. They had conjectured that the number of representations of an even number as a sum of two primes is the following where p is an odd prime divisor of n and c2 is the following. Here omega represents all odd primes. It's really interesting to know that the main result of this paper used a generalized version of Riemann's hypothesis. Well, we are not completely hopeless. We do have some significant partial results. Let's have a look on some. Using Vinogradov's method, it was shown that almost all even numbers can be written as a sum of two primes. In 1930, 
Lev Snirelman proved that a natural number greater than 1 can be written as a sum of not more than c prime numbers and the upper bound of, was, of c was given as 800,000. This result was then further improved and it was shown that every even number greater than or equal to 4 can be written as a sum of 6 primes which was then further improved to 4 primes. We also do have verified results. Direct verification is done up to 4 times 10 to the power of 18 as of 2013. Another interesting result is this beautiful number. This number is the smallest number that can't be written as a sum of two primes where one prime is less than 9781.